So uh, let's begin. So the first thing I'd like you to do is visit um, the URL, which I have already sent to you, which I see that you have on the screen. So that's github.com slash Hedera dev slash five minute token launch challenge. Right. And I see that you're already there. And in the readme, if you can um, open in Gitpod using the green button. Excellent. So um, have you used Gitpod before? I haven't used Gitpod before, no. Okay, so Gitpod is a cloud development environment which uh, allows you to run a software project um, and you know edit it and etc. All within your browser, and you don't have to set anything up on your own computer. So that's why we use it, um, especially for those who are new to developing on Hedera. Okay, and. You can see over here on your screen that you have Visual Studio Code, which is an IDE loaded up, but it's all within the browser. Um, are you familiar with using VS Code? Yes. Yes, I am. Excellent. OK, so you'll feel right at home, um, except that it's now inside of your browser. Um, if you could, could you hit, um, I'm assuming you're on Mac, could mm -hmm. you hit mm -hmm. Command plus three or four times so that the font size is larger? That just makes it easier for uh, me to see. <laughs> Um, thank you very much. Okay, so um, the first thing I'd like you to do is go to the terminal and you can see um, a line in purple saying, please enter values requested or accept defaults, right? And then there's a few prompts. So I'd like you to uh, just follow my instructions as to how to follow, uh, fill in these prompts. So okay. for the bit 39 seed phrase, <clears throat> just hit enter and it'll generate a new one for you at random. And then for number of accounts, just hit enter and you'll get several accounts. Likewise, for JSON RPC endpoint, just hit enter again to accept the default that's been set up for you. And finally, for operator account, um, we want to use the first one that's been generated from our BIP39 seed phrase. So again, just hit enter to accept the default. All right. Now, um, do not hit enter. Um, copy that EVM address, which is the one in bold that starts with 0x45. Just copy that. Yep. And then open up forstep.hadera.com. You can hold down command and click on that URL. Excellent. Thanks. OK, now um, here, paste the address inside of that text box. Press the Receive button. And then pass that capture test and press Confirm. All right, so we see successfully sent, which means that this account has been funded and uh, we're good to go. So you can close this faucet tab now. Excellent. Okay, so now we're back in Gitpod and go back to the terminal. And now that we funded the account, now we can press enter. All right, so it's doing its thing where it's checking the accounts and creating new ones for you. And now it's saying, okay, here is a .n file. Now, if you can, um, go to the list of files on the left and open up the file that's named .env. Excellent. Okay, so this is this is the default file with nothing in it. Now, if you go back to the terminal and hit Y followed by Enter, right, and you can see the .env file um, has been initialized with whatever our inputs um, have done earlier on. So this allows us to start using the script in the file. And you know that brings us to the end of the guided usability test, right? Mm -hmm. um, now, how did you feel about that? Was there anything about that tricky or confusing? No, everything went really smooth. I was able to fund my account pretty easily. And then um, I have some nice accounts created for me with just pressing enter over and over again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm glad that you appreciate that.